Hey, John here. We're gonna keep going through these bins, but today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite finds so far. So what a lot of people don't know is I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan. Not the 12 inch G.I. Joes from the 60s, which are awesome in their own right, but I'm an 80s kid and the three and three quarter inch G.I. Joes that, you know, started in 82 and then went into the 90s, those, those are my favorite toys. And I was a little disappointed, you know, when we first showed up to the collection, there was very little G.I. Joes. Like, there was a few, a couple of loose vehicles, a couple of loose figures, but nothing, there's nothing super special. And we got the phone call to come back and go look at the, the next part of the collection. And one of the first questions they asked was, do you guys like G.I. Joes? And immediately got my attention and asked for some photos. So he sent us some photos and it was just one box, but there was probably 20 boxes inside and it was all the 83 range play sets. Uh, those play sets were, you know, the mortar defense unit, um, the forward observer, the machine gun, the mountain howitzer, checkpoint alpha, and there was a couple of vehicles. There was a Cobra stun. There was a Python patrol devilfish, tiger force, tiger fish. Um, you know, different things like that. So I was excited, you know, and because I thought that's all there was. So we go, we pick them up and sure enough, they're all, uh, they look to all be sealed, but you know, some of the tape is you know, 40 years old. So it's yellowed and it's cracking or coming off, but I don't believe these have ever been removed from their boxes. So then we're, we're going through more of, um, more of the boxes as we're picking these up and found a treasure trove of carded 82 straight arm GI Joes. I believe it was the whole first release. Um, the only one we don't have right now is Snake Eyes. We did have him, but he, I sold him probably in the first couple of weeks. Um, you know, we were hindsight. I wish we still had him. But, you know, we were a little, not desperate, but trying to recoup some of our, our cost. So we got a good price for him. Um, probably could have held out for more, but uh, yeah, we're happy. I, I do wish we still had him just to keep the collection, that first series complete. Um, but it is what it is. But, you know, we also found, so we keep digging, we keep digging, and we found carded red back mail aways, you know, still sealed in their bags. And that's what we're going to go through today. So I'll get out of the way. I'll stop jabbing and, and I'll show you what we found. All right. So we're just going to dig in here. This is, um, I'm not quite sure how many bins. I think there's three and we'll try to get through all those. So here's the bin. Um, well, it's in a bin now, but it was originally just in a cardboard box of the of that first picture that we saw. So you can imagine my surprise when I see this. Like this is like a Toys R Us toy store aisle. Um, so I'll just start pulling some of these out. You know, we got the air defense here, and you, as as I mentioned, you know, you can see the tape starting to fray. But I mean. The boxes are still in excellent condition. We got the bomb disposal. We got the weapon transport. Again, you can see the tape there. We got the tiger fish, as I incorrectly called the Python Patrol, but it's actually Tiger Force. Here is the Python Patrol Asp. The Cobra Stun. I never had the Stun. It it was it was kind of in the latter part of my collecting. I was more interested in the the realistic vehicles. I mean, as 
as some as realistic as some of the GI vehicles get. And the Cobra Stun was a little too crazy for me. Um, so we got the bivouac, and these are these are kind of going back to the older sets too. You know, I believe this is '83. We got the Cobra surveillance port. Cobra bunker. Let's see, get down in here. Got the outpost defender. This is, you know, one of the favorites. I, you know, I know a lot of people look for this one. You, uh, there's a piece in there. It's a little clipboard that's always missing. Um, but as you can see, this one, you know, still in the box. Got the mountain howitzer. This, so these are the ones that I had a lot of because they were kind of the older GI Joes had the more realistic military style weapons and play sets, and then they started. Um, kind of branching out into more fantastical uh, vehicles and, and weapons and things like that. The Cobra Rifle Range Unit. Got the ammo dump. You know, and the card conditions vary, or the box conditions vary on these, um, but overall, they're all just in great shape. Got another rifle range. Machine gun defense. I think we, yeah, we have another one of these. So this is this. We have two of the machine gun defense and then two of the rifle range, the Cobra rifle range units. Got the forward observer. This little mortar kit. Missile defense unit. And lastly, but not least, the uh, mortar defense. Like I said, I was blown. If this was the only thing that was of the G.I. Joe's, I would have been over the moon. Because I just, you don't see them like this in the boxes very often. And I was just happy to see some of the toys that I had. Now, one of the things I wanted to, to point out here was this was something that um, I couldn't quite figure out and pinpoint a date on it, but... I met a friend through one of the G.I. Joe face group, uh, Facebook groups. Um, his name's Yuli. And he helped me kind of pinpoint and, you know, was sending me all, you know, a bunch of information on this. And what this is in the original Hasbro mailer box is the collector's kit from uh, 90, 92, 93. So what this was, it was a collector's kit, and I believe it was 1995 plus four flag points you could mail off and get this. And if you aren't familiar with what flag points are, on the back of the packages, I don't, I don't think these have it, but there were these little point uh, flags with point values on them, and you would clip those out, mail them in with some money, and you'd get your mail-away figures. So... We found this, and it came with the collector case, a mystery figure, a little pamphlet, a, a sealed tree or um, weapons pack, and a little packet of cards. Now, we have everything in here. I'm going to be very careful because it's, you know, usually these cases will get, they'll get weak right here, and they'll get some stress marks, so I don't want to... I try to op not open it as often as possible, but as you can see, I mean, it, it's brand new. The shelves are still here. The hooded commander, Cobra commander is still there. Here's the weapon tree that I was speaking of. Now the only thing we are missing are the cards. And I know that we have the cards somewhere in one of these boxes because I remember seeing them and thinking oh these are those cards that you know everybody has and not particularly valuable but I mean this is such a cool kit to to be able to order for you know 20 bucks and a couple of flags or four I think it's four flag points this could have been yours
And one of the coolest things is it comes with the original Hasbro mailing box and I've covered up the address of the person. So, I mean, just a cool little piece that you just don't see in this condition or this complete very often. All right, so here we have bin number two, and this one is not quite as full. It's got some, so this is just random stuff of other carded pieces that just kind of got thrown into the box here. So I'll just pull out the, do the GI Joe's since that's what we're talking about today. But, um, and I've gone through all of the carded figures and I've put them in protector cases just, you know, so they don't get any further damage. I mean, they're in great condition to begin with, but, you know, as you can see, you have um, the seal carded. I've got a spirit, which, I mean, even he, the blue, I don't know if you can see that, the, the downside to this figure is that his blue shirt is notorious for getting discolored and you can see the discoloration on his chest the arms that's the blue that it's supposed to be and then you can see the chest is starting to discolor but i mean the card is unpunched in great condition um, we have a the action force taurus the card's a bit rough you can see that crease right there. Um, Toys R Us. I mean, really nice figure. And th that was the other thing. There was a lot of Action Force figures. Yeah, the UK version of G.I. Joe. And this one's unpunched. I think these are all of, um, this isn't all of the action force, but it's all the kind of space themed ones. So here you got the security trooper. And lastly, your space commander. All right, here we go with box or bin number three. And this is, these were most of the loose figures. There are a few carded in here. And again, these are all kind of packed haphazardly and quickly, to, but we just had, we had so much, we're just trying to get through it. You know, so here we have a uh, countdown carded. Got your rip cord. Condo's unpunched, is, if you can see that. Got your mutt and junkyard figures. Blowtorch. Got another action force, the red shadow. Before we get to the card or to the loose ones, um, another Action Force. And these, I, if I remember correctly, Action Force was partially used to introduce G.I. Joe into the UK, European area. But I'm not, I'm not too up to speed on the history of the, the Action Force figures. Here we got a roadblock. Crimson Guard. It's got a little corner issue. I don't know if you can see that in the video. And a snow job. But he, again, he was another figure notorious for discoloring. And as you can see, you know, he's been in storage and yet still has managed to discolor. 
And let's see, now this is an interesting box, if anyone recognizes this. This was the Mail Away G.I. Joe Cobra Commander box. We don't have the figure. I've looked for the specific figure that goes in this box, but I cannot find him. We have several other Cobra Commanders, but not the one that went into that box. Let's see, what should we do next? Ooh, got some mask figures. I don't know how those guys ended up in here. But... Yeah, and I, it, it, I tried to organize some of this, you know, like you can see a Storm Shadow weapons pack or backpack and, and swords. I don't know if the, cause the, the thing on these was the, his bow was, is usually always broken and, and it looks, I can't see it quite in there, but it looks unbroken. That's a, that's a complete weapons pack for Storm Shadow. Wait, I don't see the nunchucks in there. Yeah, maybe the maybe it's not complete. Maybe the nunchucks aren't in there. And here is one of our Cobra Commanders. His oh man, his looks like his. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely broken. His O ring is broken, which is. It's these are notorious again for that. The you can have a figure in the package, but the O-ring deteriorates and then it looks and it's essentially broken, even though it's never been played with. Now this isn't the card that that he came on, but uh, somebody looks like he was probably bought at a sh uh, toy show. I uh, yeah, this is. And the glare on that light's killing me. So this is Steeler, and he was the driver of the Mobat, which was a motorized tank. And originally he came with a helmet, which that looks like an original helmet. I can't quite tell. Got the, hang on. Let me, let me swap out. The glare's killing me. All right, that's a better... He, but uh, so he came with originally came with a helmet and his binoculars, which would you can see the little holes on the side of his helmet. These binoculars would fit over there, and then he also came with an, a black Uzi. But you know he looks he's in great shape, just not complete, and unless the the weapons are in here somewhere. Let's see. So we got a scrap iron. Looks like he's complete, has other missiles in there. And you know, the tubes on these, they're not hard to find, but you know, they're usually missing. Comes with this file card. There we go. And these are some mail away 12 inch um, clothing packs. See, and there's one for Cobra Commander in here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Let me get to that. Let's see. So this is another one probably bought at the same time at that um, as the as uh, last one. This is. I think that's he's a the mud fighter, mud mud fighter pilot. Um, God, what is his name? Uh, dog. I think Dogfight is his name from late eighties, eighty nine, ninety, something like that. I believe he comes with a pistol, but he does not have it. Hey, and there is the mystery mail away figure. And then just a bag of the old brochures that you used to get for G.I. Joe. And we can take a crack at some of these. So just like catalogs and inserts for mail away figures. So believe it or not, I still have my dog tag that I mailed away for. 
and it is it's a New Mexico address because that's where I'm from but I still have it to this day and I don't know how it survived and side story I had sold some GI Joes a while back to um, someone just north of here and accidentally left the dog tag in the box of stuff that I sold him and this guy as stand up as he is he messages me and goes hey I think uh, I don't know if this was supposed to be included and he ended up mailing it back to me which I think was awesome of him but uh, oh so here's the what I mentioned earlier if you're not familiar these are the flag points so each each figure and vehicle had these little points on them and then you would mail away um, you'd look through the catalog of the mail aways and you could uh, send off and it was like a really small dollar amount but with the with the flag points and get you know get these mail aways and as you can see a lot of these in this particular brochure we have you know we just went over the boxed figures that we have so pretty neat to see that we have the the box version as well as you know how they were advertised in the brochures Uh, another brochure. We have a Duke here. Now, we had and have already sold a carded Duke figure. And he looks... Ooh, his knee is jacked up. But I think he comes with... I think he came with... Uh, the, but he originally came with a green machine gun like this um that helmet might be original he also came with some binoculars which i don't see in there and a backpack which again is not in there we got a grunt he is not complete he's got a couple of arms in there they look like nice flash can't quite see but those are not his arms. He, this is a swivel arm version of Grunt, so that would have been the 83, you know, Series 1 and a half. Um, series 1 were the straight arms, and then 1 and a half, they released the figures again, but they had the swivel arms in them. And then you got a Hawk. He is definitely incomplete. You know, he normally comes with a helmet and a visor, and came with the... Uh, is it called the missile mobile missile system it's like a breaker, a breaker. as you can see his o-ring rubber o-ring is broken that is an accessory pack just dropped in so is an accessory pack helmet and an accessory pack weapon and he did not come with that tube so we got an extra tube for somebody and that's not his backpack either so got a toll booth he was the driver of the he was the bridge layer and he comes with would come with a sledgehammer, a gray sledgehammer. We don't have the bridge layer, which was one of my favorite vehicles. Okay, let's open in that bag. Oh, we have a deep six figure here. Now he came with like a pump and a little tube that you would attach to the, I don't know if you can see it, to the back of the figure. And he was the driver of the shark vehicle. This way. And this, I, um, I've, I've seen this before, and I've actually talked to some people about this, but cool little beta VHS tape of the Jungle Trap cartoon. That's from 85 Sunbow. Yep. What else we got here? We got the Viper. So, I'm pretty sure this is the Viper Pilot. Now this is a this is a hard figure to find. Um, it's the exact same. The body is the same as the Cobra figure, but the Cobra figure has a red Cobra emblem, 
and the Viper pilot has a silver emblem, like the Cobra officer. Now, the reason that many think that this is the the Viper pilot is the silver logo rubbed off incredibly easy. So anytime, well, I, I, I don't want to say anytime, but many times you would see one of these Cobra figures with no logo on it. It's generally assumed that it's a Viper pilot, um, but you can see lots of discoloration in the arms, um, O-rings broken, no weapon. So I'm not 100% sure it's a Viper pilot, but you know, it's a good educated guess. Here we have got Stalker here. This is the straight arm Stalker. He looks to be complete. There's the thin thumb version of Stalker. Thumbs on some of the older ones broke broke off so easily, so they thickened them up. They looked ridiculous in my opinion. Got Clutch, who is the vamp driver. A couple of those guys in there both the swivel arms. It's, if you can see how sometimes in the elbow, the, the forearm stayed one color and then the elbow, the plastic discolored to a lighter version. And there's a couple of helmets in there. And even the helmets, you know, they look different, but the gray and the green are, you know, they, they discolored over time. So sometimes it's hard to, to know if you know, that's the original helmet or, you know, what have you. We got the Clutch. Um, so this is Clutch version 2. They, they refer to him as the Tan Clutch. And he came with the Vamp Mark II, which was the tan version of the Vamp or the Jeep. Here we have a Cobra Officer. He's in great shape. God, look at that logo. Logo's in awesome condition. He's got his rifle in there. Got the flash here. He looks to be complete. He's got his visor. He's got his backpack and his uh, laser rifle. And then snake eyes. This is the original straight arm snake eyes. He does not have, I, I'm not sure if that's his original ammo pack, um, but he does not have his Uzi. He originally came with an Uzi. Otherwise, the figure is in great shape. We got the mail away quick kick, complete you know, from Brazil. And the little side story on these is the toes are notorious for paint rub. And even in the package, if you can see that, his toes are slightly rubbed on the left foot. But otherwise, you know, mint quick kick. Another hawk here. So this hawk looks to be complete. I mean, other than that, he's not with the mobile missile system. And then we have some Cobra enemies. So these are just the regular Cobra figures. And as you know, we were talking earlier about the, the Viper pilot. Let me open this up. So the Viper pilot is the same body as the, as this one. And here, I'll, let me grab that. All right, so I grabbed the Viper Pilot and I'll show you the comparison here. So as you can see, they are the same figure, but just one has the no logo and one has the red logo. But, you know, the same pistol, same little shoulder, so that's what, again, not always, but it's generally assumed that if you find this guy with no logo, he's a Viper pilot. But it doesn't guarantee that. That's going to be a long video because I still have a couple of bins to go through. There's some random parts and pieces here. 
in the early 50s. These probably went into that. So this, now, this looks like a silver pads. Um, oh, oh, hang on. So this, um, as I was saying, this, at first I thought it was just the flash body, which we saw flash earlier. Um, but as I look at the edges, there's some silver there. So this leads me to think that this is a Grand Slam silver pads figure, which is a hard figure to come by. And he came with the, um, the jet pack. Um, God, what was the name of that? The, uh, shit. I, anyway, he came with a jet pack set. I just, the name is escaping me right now. But it's unfortunate that somebody took a Sharpie to it and covered up all that silver. And then we got a, let's see, a little zap here. My glitter's still getting me. Get down here. So, and like I said, I've, I've gone through and I've tried to label some of these. Um, so, he's looks to be complete. I mean, that looks like his helmet. He's got his backpack and there are a few variations of his bazooka, but that is uh, definitely an original bazooka because the glare is less. Um, ooh, this is, he was the pilot for the Falcon glider. Definitely not, I mean, his crotch is not broken. Maybe just an O-ring paints a little long, but get him out and put him in a better case. Here's another tan clutch. Should get him out of this bag. Oh, his O-ring is busted, but that is such a simple fix. I mean, it's just a screwdriver and you get the appropriate O-ring, which is just a little rubber ring and there's argument to, you know, which number ring is the best. Um, I don't have an opinion on that. There's an airborne figure. Oops, getting down to got some random weapons and backpacks there. Oh, I wonder if that's not easy. There's so many subtle variations of the easy that I'll have to check and, and see if, you know, if that belongs to anybody. It might be Snow Jobs rifle there. Get back in here. So this is a, got a stalker here. I think that's version two. This is a, this guy's a Night Viper. He looks complete. He's got his visor, backpack, and his rifle. rifle. Pegs are still on there. That's nice. A uh, couple of figures in here. This looks like a grunt. Some more catalogs here. Um, yeah. so I think these two guys are part of the Battle Force 2000 series. Name start with a B, I believe. But yeah, so Battle Force, that's kind of later down the, the line of when I was collecting, so I didn't collect many of these. Um, this is Sea Slug. He was a Cobra pilot of the Sea Ray, I believe. Who is this guy? It looks like, you know what, this, oh no, this is a, this is a mix and match, because that chest is from the Target figure, Target, however you pronounce it, and the head looks like Fast Draw, but the legs and the arms look like a, maybe a Toxo Viper? Yeah, I'll have to look that up, but they, I was sitting here, picked it up, and I'm like, I don't recognize this at all. 
But yeah, I think so. This is a mix and match, which was actually one of the cool things about G.I. Joe's. I, and I even remember doing it is taking parts from one figure and, you know, you, it's like create your own, uh, create your own G.I. Joe or create a Cobra, which a little foreshadowing for you there um, coming up a bit later. So cool little figure. I mean, I got to say, whoever put this together really, you know, kind of match colors. It looks like a issued figure. Nice, nicely done. Now we're going to get back into some of the carded figures. Now these are not in cases, but, uh, oh, and a couple little mentions and I, and I have these up on for sale on uh, G.I. Joe forum on Facebook, but here's a complete, God, I can't fumbling today, complete Budo figure, and a Cobra officer mail away, but his O-ring is broken, which again, it's such the unfortunate thing of these figures that that can happen to them. Oh, we got a Hiss driver here. And his logo looks pretty clean and complete. Just set that aside for, for now. Things of doom. Got some file cards here. Got the Cobra Hiss driver, which there he is right there. We got Torpedo, which is our seal figure. We have the carded version of him earlier. Got Airtight. Hawk. And we got the Tan, um, Tan Clutch Vamp Driver. Zartan, which I have not seen Zartan yet. I don't believe he's here, but we have his file card. And we got Short Fuse. These look like some newer Joes, if I remember. Got some Battle Core Major Blood. Another Battle Core Bulletproof. Battle Core Snowstorm. And I didn't collect any of these later issues. I'm not sure what year. These, oh, so this is like early 90s, so I I stopped collecting probably after 89 was the latest year that I actually collected. Oh, here's some Battle Force. We have a couple of those loose figures you saw earlier. But here's a carded Avalanche figure. More Battle Corps Cobra Commander. Battle Corps Outback. Outback's a pretty popular figure, the, the version one of him. Ooh, we got the Star Brigade. Yeah, again, not ones that I collected, but it's a, it's a Star Brigade effects figure. I don't even have the file cards on these. We got the Ninja Force Slice figure. And then this was another one. Um, I think I posted a picture of this just because I thought it was funny, but this little impact uh, knockoff G.I. Joe. And then we got these two packs. Um, we have Cobra Commander and Chameleon, which looks surprisingly like Baroness. We got Dusty and Law and Order two pack. Major Blood and Rock Viper. That Rock Viper is kind of a cool looking figure. Gung Ho and Leatherneck. And lastly, we have General Tomahawk and Dial Tone. I actually like that version of Dial Tone compared to the first version for some reason. I don't know. I looks more authentic military. Wasn't a big Dial Tone to, um, fan to begin with. All right, so I got the, the you know, we have a, one of the figure cases here, which I just love the artwork on these old packages and cards and, and cases and things like that. Just really cool. The price tag still on it. Um, so I've, I've looked through this, and there's nothing too crazy, but some, you know, some really cool figures. There was a complete Destro in here that um, has already sold. Um, but these are, you know, some of the newer figures. Like, let's take this. 
No, there's not. These trays are in really nice shape. Normally you'll get stress, white stress marks along the edges here. And you know, the it'll crack along the bottom. I don't see much of any of that. All right, let's get some better light over here. Now I'm gonna, these are some later ones, so I'm gonna have a hard time identifying a couple of these. Um, I was hoping when I opened this, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe there's a you know a complete second set of loose figures, but of the 82, 83, but at that point I'm just getting a little greedy. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna, I wanna keep these together. So here's another um, little pamphlet insert for your mirrors and oh no this was for the micro figures so this is just an insert for these gi joe micro figures you could order i want to make sure i keep that on though a couple of dj figures here got an astro viper um i'm not sure i can't remember what this guy's name was I'll look that up in a bit, or if you know, comment below. Um, looks like another Night Viper without the visor. We had the the other one that has the Viper or uh, visor. Um, so the Astro Viper here's his look. He looks complete. Here's his little backpack, uh, or not backpack, but back apparatus. Um, this is oh man, this is gonna kick my butt. Oh, he's got some cracked elbows. Muskrat, I believe. And, oh, we got a Deep Six. He looks complete. Countdown, Deep Six. Um, this, oh, so the figure that we saw earlier that was the kind of mix and match figure. So he, you can see here's, here's the chest of that other figure, and this is the complete target figure. And there's his... Backpack and jetpack over there. Oh, there's a Baroness rifle. One, two, three, four, the heat viper. They look complete. They have these little missiles that go on the on their legs. And they all, I mean, they look like they're all there. Yeah, I would say these are 100% complete or very close to it. Got your target. You got your oh, frag viper. And I'm kind of jumping around here, but I just saw him. He the little grenades. He's got the little grenade chucker. Um, these are Destro's. I think they were the Iron Grenadiers. of those and then these two I don't know I don't remember who that is or this guy I don't know who those guys are so again comment or I'll try and look them up if I can but that's it for this case Put those back all right so we're on bin three four count that high um all right, so this is just a few of the vehicles that uh, we found. Um, just on top here was a Cobra Asp, which I, can't, I think that was 84. But usually this, I mean, it's a little dirty, but everything seems good. I don't, normally this uh, roll cage is broken. So they... Um, this, ah, oh, it's missing. So anyway, sorry, back up. So this is the Cobra Rattler, which is based on the A-10 Warthog, which is one of my favorite planes. And it looks, I mean, it's super dusty, but the canopy's in place, nice and clear. But it does, I did notice it was missing the landing gear. 
But the landing gear doesn't look broken, which is typical of, you know, some of these planes, or uh, of this particular plane. But it looks like they were just removed. I mean, interesting. So we will definitely be looking to restore this and get some, looks like it's only missing a couple of missiles and just get some new landing gear for it. And we'll be good to go. Blocking out the light. So we got the slugger here. I always open these things up and hopefully they're hoping that there's a hidden weapon or something inside. I know I used to hide mine in there. Got the armadillo. Pretty good shape. Oh, broken peg on the back. What a bummer. A little dirty, too. This is not old. G.I. Joe versus Cobra series uh, rock slide with frostbite. Again, this was after my time. I don't... I don't recognize any of this stuff. Ooh, and then we got the APC, which I think is... Might be just a little turret. I don't want to break it, so let's, and a lot of times on these covers, the, the tabs are broken, but this one appears complete, or intact. Nice color, too. Oh, there's the turret right there. And then another, another thing that's usually, or is commonly, I shouldn't say usually, commonly missed in these is the seat belts and they're just little straps that went across to hold your figures as they they sat in there and then probably the most common thing oh it is there uh the steering wheel is usually missing so this looks to be a complete apc really nice condition too Here we have the Cobra Stinger, which this was another one that was that's commonly missed the or is missing the steering wheel, but steering wheel is in there. And they become so brittle that you know they they often break. But usually has missiles standing up. So it's got these red missiles that are missing, but um this is intact, which is nice. This The front bar is intact. So, just a couple of missiles and we're good to go. So with this is the Hiss, which is the Hiss tank. And the driver is the red figure we saw earlier. Oops. Which is the, had the silver emblem on his chest, but Got the, so this the little fist here. All the vehicles would come with these blueprint cards and they would just basically give you all the rundown of your vehicle and if it required assembly, you know, how to put it together. But I, I, this is one of my favorite parts of the old series was, so I love the blueprints because it, it just added a little extra touch. You know, yeah, you could, you could throw the instructions and like, that's all great, but... To sit there and and identify each part and yeah this again so it's very common on these for this to be very loose which these are I mean it stands up but otherwise I mean it, it's pretty clean cockpits intact so got the fang helicopter which, oh yeah, the landing gear's busted and it's missing the bomb that goes on the bottom there. Propeller's a little warped. And then we have the Wolverine, which the driver of this was CoverGirl, which I haven't found the CoverGirl figure, so I don't know if she's in here, but probably the most common missing piece to this is the tow cable that goes right here. So if anybody has a tow cable, let me know. And, uh, but all the missiles are there. This is this was one of my uh, favorite vehicles. So it was the Wolverine, 
the, the other favorite of mine, I love the, uh, the, the bridge layer. And then also my, probably my favorite vehicle was the ferret, which is a four, uh, four wheel, four by four or a ATV, which we had missiles on the side, which surprisingly is not in here, but that's, I would love to have found that. Okay. So we're finally at the point where we're gonna go through the bin that is my absolute favorite. And I hope you guys enjoy this because some of these figures in here, I've never seen complete. I've, I've never seen them in person. And I remember, you know, when we first opened the box and I started pulling these out, it was just like every pull just got better and better and better. So I've organized this one because most of these are going off to auction. Um, I'm not sure when the auction will happen. We're still in contact with the auction house and we'll let you all know, you know, when that happens. But um, there are some truly amazing figures in here. You're not here to listen to me talk, so let's get into this. All right, so here we go. This, I had to reorganize some stuff here to get this set up, but... We shall unveil this bin, which I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did going through it. So we have a lot of carded. I would say most of these are carded and or sealed in their original baggies. So this is actually not, well, it's part of this, but it's, th there's some figures in here that are not specifically G.I. Joe, like, you know, these Marvel Flyers, which are these little foam gliders you know it's a complete set of these um maybe i'll set those aside and we can talk about those at the back end of this but i just want to focus on the gi joes right now so if i if i pull something out that isn't gi joe and i set it aside you know we can like i said we can talk about it later but i, I just specifically want to focus on the gi joes right now we'll just go from the top and the very first figure on top is a carded storm shadow in incredible condition i mean he's almost pure white maybe i don't know i don't know if there's any discoloration but he tends he's one of those figures that does tend to yellow over time but it does not look like he's yellowed and this is the 34 back i know there's i think there's a 36 back but it's the uh 34 back storm shadow we have grunt the carded grunt. Now he, it looks like some old sticker residue or something up there that's, and maybe a little tear on the card. But other than that, like the corners are amazing. And I do believe um, we have all of those figures there, except we don't have Snake Eyes anymore. We did have him at one point, the Baroness carded. You just don't see these like this. You know, and as I was going through them and I'm just pulling, like I said, I pulled out a car and it's like, oh, this is great. And then the next one was better. And then the next one was better than that. And it just kept going. Let's do the, let me get the top ones here. So we got a major blood figure. I don't see any, any defects on him. A carded firefly. I've never seen a carded firefly. I shouldn't say never. I probably saw it on eBay at some point. But the hardest part in this, or the most commonly lost item, is that little green phone up there. And, you know, I've I've seen that phone go, you know, as high as... Pers I, I, I've heard of it going higher, you know, around $100, but I've seen it as high as 80 and I think it goes for maybe 30 40 or 50 right now. I haven't checked current pricing on it. Flash carded, unpunched. And, you know, a few of these figures have these little spots on them. The, uh, not the figures, the cards. I'm not quite sure what it is, but um, that is really the only flaw on some of these. Got an airborne, carded airborne, which we had a loose figure of him earlier. Looks like the it would have been unpunched, but somebody tried to get it on that peg and, and pushed right through it. And this one's got some discoloring or staining, not staining, but just scuff marks maybe on the edges. 
I'm gonna save the bagged ones for later, so I just wanna get the carded ones out of the way. Got a short fuse. This is one of my favorites, the Scarlet. And she is an unpunched Scarlet figure in it, it, just amazing condition. Again, some looks like some scuff marks on the on the edges. Got a dock carded. I guess I can stop saying carded because it's obvious that it is a carded figure. We have a zap which we had a loose version of him as well. And you, the bubble on this one is pretty, not pretty yellowed. It probably, I can't tell if it looks worse on the video or if it looks worse in person, but it's it's not terrible, but it definitely, you can definitely see the yellowing of it. Right, got tripwire. And roll. And again, his bubble looks a little yellow. Breaker. That's an unpunched breaker. And see, he's, there's that, I don't know what that is, that staining on the back. Got the Cobra figure. Cobra Soldier. Got Stalker here. It's got a little spot on the bubble. I'm not sure what that is. He's a straight arm. He's a Cobra Officer. And his bubble is a bit yellowed, but again, card is in excellent condition. Now we're going to get into some, which you can probably already see, but we'll save him for later. So I started packing some of these up, you know, getting them ready to send off to auction. And I'll just pull this out because it comes out pretty easily. But the Listen and Fun tripwire. Now the card is not perfect, but it is still complete. It has a few bends or creases in it, but overall it's in great shape and it's, it's hard to find these on the card still. We'll just get to it because it's right here, but you have the Create a Cobra and basically you'd fill out your form and with name and you know military specialties things like that and they would mail you a cobra it's rare to find it as complete as this you can find them you know the figure seal if you can see it is still sealed in its original bag but to find it you'll find them with the figure by itself sealed You'll find it with, maybe it has a sticker sheet, or maybe it has the figure and the file card. But this one is the complete figure sealed in the bag with original sticker sheet and the original file card. And the Hasbro receipt on the back of, the, um, of when it was purchased. So this was uh, Mail Away Sergeant Slaughter and the International uh, Fun School Iceberg, which Iceberg is an African-American figure and they certainly made him white. So this is the Mail Away Cobra Commander figure, still on the, the card and it's got, you know, that card is it's his file card as well. But this is the Cobra Commander that came with the Cobra Missile Command Headquarters. So that is quite a fine. This, so if you remember earlier in the video, there was the Cobra Commander mail away box. This figure was in that box. And after talking to some collectors, you know, they, they told me like, well, that's not the figure that goes in there. 
Um, this is, uh, you know, they, they, they told me that, you know, which figure this was, but, uh, this is the, you know, straight arm Cobra Commander mail away. I'm going to crack open this just because the, these are, again, I have so many favorites. I keep saying, oh, this is my favorite, but hang on. Let me, let me, open. these were from the 93 GI Joe convention and you have, these are a, a lic officially licensed figure, but not Hasbro did not make these. It was a Joe DeSimone figure. And this is the blue variation. Bubbles a little bit discolored, but not bad. The card is in excellent shape. And there was a black version, which is right here. You can see the, the logo on the chest is black. The other one is blue. And I believe the difference between these two is one version was if you attended the convention and then one was just made for the convention. You know, having one of these figures is incredible enough, but having both variations is just amazing. What is in here? This looks like another well-protected, oh, it's Star Trek. Some more Star Trek aliens figures. Sorry, I had to open the bag there. I, again, I was prepping some of these for um, mailing, but just haven't mailed them yet. But got a red back grunt, red back flash. Red back officer, Cobra officer. And I'm gonna have to open some more bags. All right, let's try this again. So I got everything opened. Um, sorry about that. Like it, I'd forgot that I had started prepping for shipping. So um, I got all the bags, the little outer bags open so that we can just start pulling stuff out. Um, so these are sealed in their here you have the General Hawk mail away. Sorry, so this this was the Cobra Helicopter Pilots uh, 93 mail away with uh, Interrogator and Major Altitude. And we have your Arctic Commandos. There's a four pack uh, Sub Zero DJ Stalker and Snow Serpent. International Action Force, which Budo, Big Bear, Big Ben, and Spirit. Ooh, this is one of, another another one of my favorites, the Cobra Ninja Viper with gray swords. So this is the Rampage mail away uh, Hasbro Direct mail away figure. And it is based off of the heavy metal figure that came with the Mauler tank. Heavy metal came with a microphone, but Rampage did not. And this kind of a, a, a G.I. Joe favorite is the uh, Steelhead. I wish it was the, or sorry, Steel Brigade. I was thinking of the Goldhead, but... I wish it was a gold head version, which I'm surprised is not in this, you know, everything that th that's in this collection to not have a gold head. And we do have a file of gold head file card, but no gold head figure. And I believe this is just the version D, um, just the version D. I mean, these are great. I love these figures. We have the Starduster figure sealed. The G.I. Joe figure, which is actually named G.I. Joe. And we have the rough back um, hooded Cobra Commander. So he is, I think somebody put him in this outer plastic, but as you can see, he's still sealed in his original baggie. 
with his file card. Can you get to this? No. This is the Rapid Deployment Force mail away. Still complete. Came with a black version of the um, I can't remember, the pocket case, little belt case. Uh, it was originally green. I believe these were the the driver series. So this isn't. These are the mailaways that came out later than the original versions, but they came out in a driver set. So, you know, you have uh, the, the set of drivers was um, Copperhead, which was the moccasin driver. You have the Strato Viper, which is the Night Raven pilot. The Lamprey, which is the Hydrofoil pilot. And your keelhaul figure, which was the flag captain. And he, unfortunately, has a broken O-ring, which I'm trying not to move him around too much. Just let him sit there and, and look complete. You have your motor viper, which is the stun driver, which we have the Cobra stun you saw earlier in the video boxed. And lastly, we have Ace. These are more, more of the driver sets. So the, let me correct that. This last set of drivers, these were the special missions drivers. The ones that I'm about to show you are the um, just regular, uh, not regular, but the vehicle driver set that came out. So here you, you know, you've got your Thunder driver of the Slugger, which we had the loose figure, the loose vehicle that you saw earlier. Frostbite is the driver of the Snowcat. Got the Hiss driver, which was the Hiss tank. We have the loose version of the Hiss tank. We have Crankcase, who's the Awe Striker driver, which is like a Doom buggy with uh, a cannon on top of it. And your Stinger driver, which was the black Jeep with the missiles on the back. And then lastly, we have in that bag, so you've got Steeler, who is the Mobat driver, Televiper, Snow Serpent, just kind of your army builder type Cobra figure, and Super Trooper, which is a, a advertised mail away on some of the cards. The carded figures. Have a male jinx. That's so got a jinx. We've got buzzer. And ripper. All of the G.I. Joes. I mean, I, I, here, let's, before we go, let me get these organized back again. All right, I got some of those packed back away. Um, we just wanted to take a quick look at these Star Trek alien figures. We have an unpunched Talos. And these are the original Migos uh, figures, not the repops that they're, they've released not too long ago. Tron, Unpunched, Romulan, it's got a little edge wear up on top, but the card is in great shape. So you have the Keeper Unpunched, and lastly, we have Unpunched Neptunian. And these figures are, are very special. All right, so trying to be very careful with these two Star Trek Next Generation figures as they are 
very special figures. These are unpunched. This is an unpunched prototype Wesley Crusher on a Picard. So it's the Wesley Crusher that was never released in this uniform when they actually released him. He was in his Starfleet uniform. And it is on a Picard card. I mean, the card does have a little bit of bend to it, but it is, it's in great shape. So, and lastly, we have the Romulan figure prototype on Picard card. And you can see it says Jean-Luc Picard at the bottom, unpunched. Now, my understanding of these figures is when they were doing prototypes in Hong Kong, they would th throw them together. Um, I think the, the first versions of the prototypes were hand-painted and they would slap them on a card in a bubble and they would ship them off back to New York and they would make their comments and send them back. And I can't verify 100%, but I think this is the next phase of that where they get the final kind of production ready figure they slap it on a card that was available and they send it off as for the you know kind of what okay heard your notes what do you think of this and then they send it back with notes and then the final version would be i again please correct me if i'm wrong but i you know i'm, I'm trying to piece together information from several different sources um the final, final version would be the finished figure on a production-ready card of that figure, just as if it was ready to get put on a shelf. And that would be the final version, you know, that they would sign off before production. But these two figures, from my understanding, have were never released. These are the prototypes, unreleased figures. And it... I don't, I can't even put a value on these, but we are, I'm enjoying having them. And, you know, like I mentioned earlier, these will go off to auction soon and off to a new home. And I can't wait to see, you know, who gets them. All right. So that's it for today. We got through, it was actually more bins than I thought, uh, full of GI Joes. Um, just some really incredible finds, you know, things that I'm unfortunately probably will never see again in person. I, I mean, I, I would hope to, but you never know. Like some of these figures, like they just don't come up that often. And the fact that we have them here, I get one to relive some childhood memories and just to learn about some of the figures that I never had that I never mailed away for or, you know, whatever the reason I didn't get them. But I hope you, everyone enjoyed it. And please, if you I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have so many more bins to go through. I can't promise they're all going to be like top tier, like, oh my God, you know, figures, but there's some great stuff. So if you could just like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. So when we do upload new videos, you get those notifications. Just want to say thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.